looks like there's more than one. Yep, definitely. Uh, oh my gosh. I just pulled that out. Holy cow. I mean, if this was Jacqueline Hill's lipstick, girl, and I'm over here trying to get the tea, what's inside this lipstick right here? Let's see here. Manny Mooch, what are you doing in there, Manny? Still mooching for clout? I'm joking, girl. Take a joke, girl. Hold on, let's, let's see who else is in here. Lord Leech, what are you doing in here? Oh my God. Oh Lord, so oh my God, I love you so much. Because why hasn't she addressed the contaminated lipsticks in a video? I do not understand. I do not think she was prepared for this. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux, and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh, honey, things are getting a little bit more interesting now. Okay, first of all, we're doing a $100 giveaway. Link in the description. I'll pin it in the comments. If you're interested, read all about it. Thank you to my sponsor, Manscaped. Love you so much. Okay, let's talk because I feel like we need to talk, okay? This is very interesting. Mark my words, this is a momentous occasion in the beauty community, girl. Because Jaclyn Hill, one of the top beauty gurus in the world, came out with her lipsticks and you know, and it's typical whenever a beauty girl releases something, we tend to throw a little shade, spill a little tea. It's the typical drama of the beauty world. But what's different about this, and this is mark my words girls, What's different about this is not only did the drama channels come out with receipts, like we always do, whatever. It's the beauty community, the actual beauty gurus themselves have came out calling out Jaclyn Hill. This is why this is such a big deal. Big beauty YouTubers who are in the game, gurus of the world YouTube, the beauty gurus are coming out about Jaclyn Hill and her lipsticks looking crazy, having plastic ball. Raw Beauty Christie got a microscope just to look inside and found some crazy stuff. And that's just one. There have been many other YouTubers in the beauty community who do the same. And it has the drama channels like, well, damn, y'all did the job for us this time. What's crazy about it is that, you know, the, the beauty gurus, they have no beef with Jacqueline and they love her as a person, but as the brand and the, it's a little bit of wonkiness from the beginning because her name is Jacqueline Hill. But her website that she sells makeup is called Jacqueline Cosmetics. But then her packaging says JH Jacqueline Hill. Which leads me to believe that this makeup was supposed to come out before her divorce, but due to the divorce that she had, she pushed back the makeup and now it's looking what people are saying. My opinion, my conspiracy, allegedly, people are saying that it's expired, that it's defective, contaminated. These are the words that are being thrown around, not by me. Beauty gurus themselves are saying that. And what's frustrating to me, and here's what my main takeaway of it all, because I have receipts. I'm gonna show you in a little bit. I don't understand why Jaclyn Hill has not made a video addressing the concerns. She's constantly putting out tweets. We want a video. You release your makeup line on video girl right here, but yet you wanna throw a little tweet out and Jaclyn Hill has been confirming these issues herself, which leads me to think people rise up as a nation and unsubscribe like they did with all the other beauty gurus, but Jaclyn Hill can do no wrong. It's Jaclyn Hill in the same league as Kathleen Lacks can do no wrong. I don't think so. And I think that a lot of people are going to start thinking like, well, Jacqueline, hello, we're waiting for you to grace the children with your video response. And I don't think she will until people stand up and say, why haven't you addressed the issue in a video? What is going on? Why is there hairs coming out of the lipstick? Plastic balls in the lipstick, which to me, I find very alarming. I think stuff like that you can choke on or cancerous who knows what the hell that is what are you releasing to the community that built you up and you do not even make a video addressing it and then here's the here's the kicker here's the kicker girl she said oh our customer supports close on the weekend sorry 
Girl, this is your first launch. Why are you closed on the weekend? You should be, you should have a team full of people answering phone calls and emails to house. What is going on? And I'm not saying to unsubscribe from Jacqueline Hill. I'm not saying that at all. Wish her the best, wanted to sell out. But what I am saying is that if people were to unsubscribe, she'll be shook the house. She'll be shook the house that the community, that the beauty community is abandoning her and leaving her in the dust and hashtag Jacqueline Hill is canceled. Because why hasn't she addressed the contaminated lipsticks in a video? I do not understand. I do not think she was prepared for this. I think the timing was off. And here we go. I already know what Jacqueline Hill is going to do. She's going to come on video. You guys, when I, when I created my lipsticks, I was, I was in a dark place dealing with a divorce. Okay, we out. We heard that. Okay, watch it. This is crazy. Oh my God, what's inside Jacqueline Hill's lipstick, girl? Anyways, let me throw you a little receipts and uh, we'll talk about it in the comments down below. Now you're recording. Well, this is the new Jacqueline Hill So Rich lipstick and it's got a little... Jewels are gonna fall out. Excuse my janked up nails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it feels heavy, but not like heavy, heavy. And you literally just took this out of the package. Right there. Yes. Okay. And so, here we go. No. Okay, it looks like any other lipstick. I mean, it feels nice. It feels like lipstick. But let's look at the thing, because that's where everybody's having issues, is now it's like... According to Rich Lux, there's hot Cheetos in there. I don't see any hot Cheetos. I don't see anything on the I lipstick see. itself either. It looks okay. Looks okay to me too. Okay, you gotta try it. Well, hold on. I can't even see myself. Okay. Careful. It's pretty good for bl being blind. How does it feel? It I mean, the packaging's cute. What does it smell like? Does it have a smell? Uh, this is Shade Sophia. No, but D literally it was brand new, right? Yeah. Do you see that? What? There's like, there was nothing on my lips. And there's like, do you see the, right on the deal? Yeah, there's like a little scratch. Yeah, why is there a scratch on it? It felt kind of grainy when Did I- Did it feel grainy? Put it on the second coat, not the first coat. Let's try for a third and see what happens. Does it smell okay? Yeah, it smells fine. Supposedly this is the best lipstick of all time. I don't know. Because I mean, look. it does look really nice on you, though. I'm not going to lie. It does. Okay. Well, look, though. Do you see, like, little... Oh, yeah. Why is it like that? What? Your lips on? aren't chopped, are you? No. There is absolutely zero anything on my lips. There's nothing. My lips are not chopped. I wonder if other people's are like this. I don't know, but now there's, like... There's little... Hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, let me see. See that? Like there's little lines all over in it that's kind of like, yeah. almost looks like there's... And we just opened this. I don't know. I don't think it's quite as creamy as... It feels creamy on my lips, but then when you put it on... It looks good on it. You can definitely tell that there's... Maybe like it wasn't mixed up by the way. I don't know, but there is some grainy stuff in there, so I'm not real sure. 
But here, you try it out. Okay. okay. All right. I can't see, but I'll try. Okay. It feels nice, but not, it's not as creamy as I was hoping. Like, it Let's feels kind of, it, like it feels like almost sticky. See, now it looks okay, but I swear, like. Wait, let me see what it looks like now. Well, it's still even kind of. No, it's still a little gritty, but, like, I don't know. my hand it looks okay it's a pretty color yeah i liked this color and it was one of the only colors that wasn't sold out the package perfect so oh, okay okay so you want some tea upon further investigation <laughs> wait why is this the hair up here why am i yeah. hold so this, wait a minute. Hold on. That is a freaking Okay, I've used it. Hold on, it's right here. I've used it. You've used it, and when it has not touched anything else other than your oh, hand, right? Oh, that is a little hair. And there was like a little hair on there. Okay. Upon further investigation. Hold on, we gotta get focused on here. Turn it sideways. <gasps> you just did that. Oh, shit. That was you. That was so me. So that... This was her. But we went ahead and went like this. There's a little bubble of liquid. What is that? I don't know. And just scratch over here. One of those on. was from my fingernail. Though. This one was from your fingernail. That one right there, the big one. But these other little few scratches that are along the side, those were not because we did not push it out all the way. Mm. Now that's that's the, that's the tea. That's the booty community. How much was this? Eighteen dollars. So an eighteen dollar lipstick. I'm thinking that for an $18 lipstick, I'm just saying, I buy the same shit at fucking Walgreens or Rite Aid. But I mean, the packaging is cute. It is cute. Don't forget to enter the Manscaped giveaway. All the information down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.